Where are all these number marks coming from? Honestly, don't know. The person that keeps leaving these numbers is really starting to get on my nerves. I hope they find whoever is graffitiing these cars soon. It's becoming a really big issue now. Haven't they caught anything from any CCTV cameras at all? Apparently not. Not one living thing has been caught at least once on those cameras. They may be frozen to display only one screen, maybe. <laughs> Impossible. The cameras still work throughout the day. I've already asked the yard manager and he, well, specifically said it in a necessary tone. I'll try and have Kevin reset the cameras later on today. That time is almost up. It's starting to concern me more about how they aren't afraid. I have to act fast. Right. We'll leave these here and remove it tomorrow. It's getting late anyways. Well, look who's back after another trip. How was it? It, it? it was fucking painful. How can anyone work in such a harsh condition? How the hell do you not feel it at all? I mean, think about it. Large boiler, more steam, etc. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to be forced to pull those ridiculous amount of trains. You forgot I've been pulling mile-long trains, haven't you? And you forgot that this is for your comment on that. What exactly are you trying to show me? Ugh! If only I had fingers so you would know! Okay, I don't get the concept of fingers and the comment all in one. Unless... Wait a fucking minute. You did not just... Oh, uh, she's gone. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, if it ain't miss, I know everything because I'm smarter than everyone because I have real work. Fuck off, you great sucking cockroach. I thought we agreed to not use that ever again. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I would agree to that. Hm. As if I'm supposed to take orders from you. Ah, Lexi. I see you're back from your trip. Yes, sir! I really enjoyed my task a lot. And glad to see my fellow friends back here again. Are you kidding me? That's, uh, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, um, I do need you to do another task. Uh, I want you to meet me by sunset by the yard for your new task. Yes, sir! Will do, sir! Ugh! 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Karma. I swear, if you want a free trip to the shops again, I'd be glad to do so. Oh, would you look at the time? Night, fellas! Out. Now. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that, Kyle. I forgot you were back in there. Aren't you supposed to take a train as well? Oh, yeah, you're right. But Shattering Inferior is premiering a new episode tonight. I don't want to miss it. Well, don't look at me. And don't even think about it. Damn. What am I going to do now? Hey, James, can you come here for a quick second? What now? So, the yard manager wanted me to tell you that you have a task to do, and wanted me to inform you. This isn't another trick, is it? Have you not seen how he gets when you don't do it? It's really scary. Eh, you're right. It can't be that bad, right? God fucking damn it! I'm here. Now, what is my talk, sir? You see... 3985 couldn't come by to help you with the assignment. Well, uh, 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 okay, okay. Why in God's name do we keep calling him that? Doesn't he have a name? Well, uh, not that I'm aware of as of now. <laughs> Irony, am I right? I guess so. So who's going with me? All the other challengers were off to do their task, so the only available engine on standby was Darrow. Are you serious? I have to work with that big bully? Lex, Lex, Lex. We will not go over this discussion again about you two arguing all the time. Can you not call me that? I really hate that nickname a lot. Well, that's too bad, isn't it, okay? Now, get to it already. Why does this crap always happen to me? Why me? The only one that has decency. Stop lying to yourself, bitch. N no. You're the bit, bitch. Jesus almighty, the hell took you so long? Ruptured another boiler tube, I presume? Shut up, will you? Not in the mood to argue. I assume because I'm here, right? Bingo! Well, can I ask you something? <sighs> if it's not important, don't bother. I promise what I'm about to ask you is literally informative and 100% positive. Alright. What is it? Can you get a move on already? Green signal, bright green, signal's green. Can't see it? Because I can, and why? Oh, because I actually pay attention to things. Now get moving! We're gonna be late. Are we taking this train? Indiana is where we will be taking this train. 
I assume your memory isn't functioning right either, huh? <laughs> Typical blonde. Like always. Start slowing down. There's a tomato up ahead. T tomato? What tomato? Why do you have to make hey, things confusing? Hey, slow down. Why do you need to say the slow most Slow down! Quick slow down! Oh, There's a red cycle! Why the hell didn't you say? Red signal from the fucking start. Hey, I didn't know, okay? I thought you would be that stupid to actually understand what I meant. For the love of Christ, I'm not stupid. Well, sweet baby biscuit on rotisserie chicken. You both have some serious bad luck. Tell me about it. Do you think I asked for this? Well, they should be moving him out of there anytime soon. Should take... Mm, less than another hour. What do you mean by moving him out? Oh, um, James got stuck on your line. Apparently his train is too much for him to carry up. Again. Again? Damn it, Amethyst. You always have to make everything worse. Justin, we have to make more bunker D fuel before the quota. Hell yeah, Mr. Gray. Let's get this show on the road. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have... Hmm, I feel like someone's talking shit about me again. Ah, eh, whatever. It's none of my business anyways. Tree is innocent. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque! Better call Saul. Saul Goodman, attorney at law. 505-164-C-A-L-L. 505-164-C-A-L-L. Well, I gotta take this train back to wherever I need to go, so... You two stay safe. I'd rather be scrapped. I'd rather prefer to be left at an exhibit to rock forever instead. Also, fuck you, Oz. What? Yeah. Fuck you, old cunt. Just shut your fucking mouth, stupid whore. <coughs> Excuse me? Better watch yourself. You, you asshole. Fuck you! <sighs> Great. This is gonna take a while. Yeah. This is gonna take a. Lexi? Hey! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, stupid bitch. He lucky I'm here to pull and push you and the train to the destination. Jesus Christ, how fucking heavy are you? This is going to be so fun.
And look who's back from Dumville. Not now, Daniel. I'm trying to find out what... what... Daniel? What? What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? You know where you are, stupid blonde. Where did Daryl go? Wasn't I with him yesterday? You were. He decided to leave you here because he wanted to head back by himself, even though I told him that it would be best to take you back as well. Oh, oh, that fucking prick. I have to get going. Well, get a move on then. What are you waiting for? Fucking hell, Daryl, when I find you, you're going to be so sorry that even people that witness the child's space struggle will feel bad for you. No pun intended. Where is who, I may ask? Daryl? Where the hell is he? I thought you two were supposed to come back together. Why did you come back by yourself? But by myself? Wow, you're so dumb that you even lost your travel buddy too? <laughs> <laughs> no. Seriously. What do you mean, by myself? Look, I don't know, okay? Jeez, now shut up. I'm trying to watch Shattering Inferior. Justin, we have to move these cars out of old Mexico. Hell yeah, Mr. Gray, let's get a move on. Stupid bloody bag, never get the blood. S seriously? You guys aren't going to do anything? Yeah, pretty much. Ugh. <laughs> you guys are useless. Hey, I'm looking for a Lexi here. Right next to you, pal. Lexi, you may need to come with me real quick. Okay. First off, manners. Don't interrupt us. And second, who the hell are you? My name is Brian and I need you to come with me. And for what purpose do I have to come with you? Did you happen to take a train last night with another train about twice your size? Y yeah. But... But... How... How did you know? 